Well, hello again. So we've been talking about this idea of engaging in the mission of the Holy Spirit uh, in this world. So one of the things that I'd love to talk to you guys about is a little bit of our perception of what our mission actually is as the Church of Christ. So not just us individually on mission, but that we are part of uh, God's church, God's people, and that he calls us uh, forward to a mission. I think, unfortunately, in many ways, uh, to use an analogy, I, I think that people think of church more like cruise liners, like vacation cruise liners. Uh, you know, where the side of the ship says, Princess Cruises. And so they're like little floating islands, uh, each church individually. And, and on those little floating islands, there's wonderful buffets and great speakers and great entertainment and, and good music and great singing and, and even the occasional comedian, maybe. And on those ships, uh, often they, they'll pull into a port here or there, as, as if you've ever been on one of these cruises, and, and they have a little, like, little tours that... Uh, that go off in, into uh, different areas and, and these little tour groups go in and they spend all the money and all the locals come out and hopefully they, they, you know, the people from the cruise ship spend money but they only stay really a short period of time and then, and then head back to the cruise ship and, and sometimes it's like th this is the kind of, kind of way we do short term mission trips. We, they're more like little excursions onto the mainland and, and into the locals but we're not really going to stay very much and it's certainly not going to cost us very much other than uh, just a little bit of money, a little bit of dollars. But there's no real investment in the community beyond that. And, and on these cruise liners, uh, we have these, these ship stewards. Sometimes we call them pastors. And, and the pastors wander around and, and ask people how comfortable they are. Do, are, are. Are you enjoying the shows? Can I help you get a blanket? Are you comfortable, ma'am, in your seat? But I think perhaps maybe a better analogy of what Jesus sort of thought of uh, us as his church was that we were to be more like a battle cruiser, like a ship that is meant for war. And, and so in the same sense, each church would be a little bit of a floating island of itself, but, but rather than tourists on vacation on board deck, each sailor would know their role and, and have a very important part to play. And, and each person was valuable because they, they contributed to the whole of the mission. The other issue is that warships, unlike cruise liners, have specific mission. They're not just floating around looking for the next dock just so we can enjoy the locals, but they're there for a reason. One of those reasons is actually to be dangerous. And I think that they, they understand their role. They understand that what they're doing is, is creating an attitude that when a ship of war pulls close to the land, those who are enemies on the shore quake. They know that something very dangerous to the enemy has shown up. And for those on the shore who are oppressed, who need liberation, who need rescue, cheer. Because Jesus' ship of war has pulled into dock. And when we send little away parties, into these areas, those who go on these trips, those who go on these missions, know that it may cost them something, something more than just dollars out of their wallets, but it might cost them their lives. And so they go knowing that they're investing, but that they're on a very important mission. I think that, that on the side of Jesus' ships, it basically says, His Majesty's ship. And it's a very different understanding from just being entertained in church. So today I want you to, to think about what is the mission that we are on? 
Are we actually dangerous to the enemy? Does the enemy quake because we, God's people, are on mission? Are we a cruise liner? Or are we a battle cruiser? Okay, until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.